some youtubers on here call it the african net or african cloth you actually want to make sure that you're getting into certain your elbow uh, don't miss it don't miss it don't miss it hey loves it's been a minute welcome back again to my youtube channel so today we're just going to be talking about my body care routine what i like to do what i use and why without talking too much let's get right into this video before i go into the bathroom or anything i usually don't do anything too extreme what i'll usually do is if i decide that i am going to be doing about my body care routine that day i just wake up put my towel on and head right into the bathroom now the things that i prep my skin to do usually are i prep my skin if i'm going to shave so it really depends on how i'm feeling i have two ways that i like to shave i currently shave every part of my body because we're in quarantine oh well we're no longer in quarantine sorry guys because like you know everything hasn't opened up yet i tried trigger waxing last year and i really liked it but i didn't keep up with doing it every time so i usually shave so how i prep my skin to shave is just pretty much i like to lather whichever area i'm going to shave with olive oil now that's if i'm not using shaving cream because i don't know what it's going to be like if you mix olive oil and shaving cream i don't know how that's going to turn out but if you try it let me know so i just like to lather whatever area that i'm going to shave with olive oil and then after lathering it with olive oil i just simply go over it with my gilet matchsticks 3 it has three blades but it, when I bought it, it came with three blades. I bought it about maybe 3,000 Naira for the first buy. I used the first razor about five times before I got the replacement pack. I'm going to show you guys the pack just one minute. So I said I was going to show you guys the Julie Match 6-3. So this is what... This is what my replacement pack looks like. So this one then comes with four blades instead. I really think that if you're shaving, it's good to use a razor that has at least three blades, four blades, and a really good razor. Let's get right into my body care routine. For my body, I just like to take care of it in the way that I like, what I think works for me, what works for me might not work for you, but I'll just tell you what I do and why. The first thing I like to do on a really good body care day is to body scrub. Now body scrubbing is really good for your skin because I can tell the difference in my skin, like my overall body. I can tell the difference from when body, care, body scrubbing was a part of my routine and when body scrubbing wasn't a part of my routine. So now for the body scrub I use, I use the With Love Keju body scrub. This body scrub costs 3000 naira. I chose the citrus one I always just like to go for citrusy type body scrubs because we all know that citrus fruits have vitamin C they're lightening agents they're good for the body so this with love care scrub has sugar and lemon and like citrus stuff in it and it smells good that's why I like it it's also not very dry it has a good dose of oil so after i ex while i'm exfoliating my skin is also getting moisturized so that's why i really like the body scrub now after scrubbing i usually scrub with my skin dry some days i wet it but i realized that i prefer scrubbing with my skin dry first and then doing a wash after i scrub after scrubbing my skin let me even tell you guys a quick story i used to have these bumps like weird bumps on like my hip area and then the side of my legs some on my back as well since i started body scrubbing i've been body scrubbing at least twice or three times a week consistently since we went into lockdown in nigeria and this was in march 2020 so this video is currently in june and i no longer have those bumps on my skin my back is smooth so just in case you're dealing with anything you might just need to start exfoliating your skin a lot more the next thing I like to do is to shower so when I'm showering I like to use certain products um, my current favorite shower product is the Dove moisturizing cream bath I need to make sure I said that right but you see what I'm talking about in the video. So the one I'm using in this video is another flavor, but my favorite one ever 
is the coconut milk and jasmine i started using it because it was recommended by a youtuber named octavia b um if you know her if you don't watch her go watch her video i really like the dove moisturizing cream wash because so it smells really good it's really good because like it exfoliates your skin really well for showering i just like to use the regular nigerian sponge some youtubers on here call it the african net or african cloth but this is what we just most people use as sponges in nigeria they're really cheap they're about 200 naira 300 maybe for a big one and that's less than a dollar it's like some cents and all it's really good so after i am done showering and i come out from the bathroom all i just do is use my towel and just like pat my skin just like pat pat my body dry and then after patting my body dry for my face i used to use a different towel which i still do sometimes but then sometimes i just let the water on my face dry and then sometimes i just use like a cotton pad like one of the square ones and just pat my face dry so it usually depends on what i feel like i'm doing or feel like doing that day but never ever use the towel you use for your body and put on your face it's a no no like it's something that you should not be doing my friend my sister do not do this thing you do not want to do this thing that is that so after like patting my body dry you know like wiping it or patting it dry the next thing i like to do is then like apply moisturizer on my body usually i would do my face routine before i do my body because i don't want to take my hands from my body and like especially my feet and then put them on my face so i would recommend doing your face routine first and then going to do your body but i'll just talk about what i use for my body so currently i use the r and r body oil r and r luxury body oil and the scent ives body lotion now i know a lot of people are like why are you mixing both one or the other let me tell you why i really like body oils for my skin because i think like they make you glow they just you know make your skin look really much i look at my shoulders like look how good my shoulders look you might not get that with lotion so yeah lotion is moisturizing but sometimes most most lotions don't just have the amount of like moisture and sort of grease that i want them to have so that's why i mix and i don't believe in applying body oil directly on your skin except in certain areas like your elbow maybe on your shoulders if you're going out on a night out on your, on your feet so i mix the oil in the lotion so i want the lotion to serve as a carrier for the oil so the oil is getting to my skin but it's not just coming on directly there's a mixture that's just how i like to do my stuff you don't have to do that you can use one or the other i usually do the r and r luxury one in lemongrass but the last time i purchased they were out of lemongrass so i purchased serenity um serenity is really good but it's more of a like night scent which is why during the night what i would use for my skin is sheer butter so there's the r and r luxury shea butters that have like the same scents with the oil but i don't use lemongrass at night i use the serenity body butter at night i just thought to you know chip that in there because i feel like putting shea butter on your skin that could melt into shea oil and walking into the sun in nigeria in lagos that is hot it's like you're frying your skin and i do not want to fry my skin guys I tell you that I don't want to fry my skin. Another thing is when you're applying lotion, you actually want to make sure that you're getting into certain your elbow. Uh, don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. You want to make sure you're getting there. You want to make sure that you're getting in between in between your hands because you don't want to apply lotion and like in between your hands are dry. You also want to make sure that you're getting in between your toes as well. In between your toes should be lotioned i don't know i like to do it i don't like to feel dry at all it's just so important to me that i am 100 percent moisturized at all times and you want to make sure you get your back i know not everyone's hands can reach their back but can you see me i can do this so yeah and you can also go like this too 
So you want to make sure you're getting into all those places when you're lotioning your skin so that you're very moisturized. After taking care of my body and all, the next thing I like to do is apply deodorant. So I used to be like a whatever deodorant type girl, like I would use um, anything I found as long as it was deodorant like, or perspirant. I didn't even know the difference. But I realized that, you know, deodorants that have aluminum chlorate or perspirants that have that actually tend to darken your underarms and they're not good for you. I went on a quest, I think I saw this recommendation from Dima and I've just sort of been using it since and I like it. I simply prefer sprays to roll-ons because I just feel like sprays are just a lot hygienic and they're just easier than roll-ons. But yeah, I saw the um, Nivea Fresh Natural on Dima's channel. She recommended it one time and I went to the you know supermarket to get a new deodorant. And I was just looking at all the options. I used to use Right Guard actually sometimes. And I just realized that all of them did have the aluminum thing that I was avoiding. It was only the Nivea Fresh Natural that didn't have it. My sweating is controlled. I don't sweat a lot like insanely. I sweat like a normal person. So that works well for me. And it's just a deodorant, it's not a perspirant, and it doesn't have the aluminum thing. And I found out that using that actually helps like your underarms not be too dark and just makes you feel better under there. So that's why I use that. And I think everyone should kind of avoid the aluminum chlorate thing in their deodorants. But if you you know want to keep using it, like you don't have to use what I use but I really think that it's good to pay attention to ingredients and products that might not be good for your body on any fronts because you want to make sure that you're taking care of her so that she can provide all you need all the energy all the strength everything you need to you know achieve your goals in life after doing this the next thing I like to do is my nails I don't know if you can see them right here on camera. I used to have like a lot of falsies, but going into lockdown again, not quarantine, Valerie? Lockdown, I realized that I like to wear my nails short and clean. I think it looks really nice. And when I throw polish on it, it just, you know, looks put together, clean, seamless, which is kind of how I am working towards looking going forward. I don't want to look too extra. I will get falsies from time to time but I'm just saying that's important to care for your nails so I would usually just clip my nails short file them a bit to make sure that they maintain the shape that I like which is like this I don't know I hope you guys can see it this is like this shape this this shape here this shape right here so yeah for them to maintain that shape that I like and then buff any rough areas and just make sure that my nails are all smooth that's it pretty much that's how i like to take care of my body oh yeah guys do not forget to apply sunscreen i didn't show myself applying sunscreen in this video because i wasn't heading out i was indoors and i have curtains in my room and you know light doesn't like hit me from the outside but if you're ever going to step outside you don't want to do all this hard work and forget sunscreen you're wasting your time now I want to recommend something that might help if you feel like applying lotion and then going to apply sunscreen again is a bit of a drag I feel like that sometimes too the Neutrogena brand they have an SPF 100 sunscreen that is spray on I'm going to put the picture right here that I spray on right here like the picture so I really think you should get your hands on that and it's something you can actually even keep in your bag so you can just always reapply it spf 100 that's a lot of spf that helps you through the lagos heat always make reference to the lagos heat because the heat in lagos is different from the heat in other parts of the world i hope that you know you really saw how i like to take care of my body and you find things that you want to adapt or use as well while caring for your body i hope that these tips helped you I hope that you found new products that you like. One more thing I would actually like to address is with any routine, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, you should follow me, you should. One thing that I always like talk about is how important it is to actually 
make sure that you don't have cumbersome overly daring routines so that you can do them over and over again because if you scrub your body if you exfoliate like your skin or your body once a month you might not really get the results that you have you need to do it like once a week so that's four times a month at least so making sure that your routines are as simple as possible so that you can do them over and over again without stress is key to having a successful routine whatever routine you might be doing whether nighttime skincare hair care wash day hair growth whatever i recommend that you have simple routines so that you can keep doing them over and over again and just have fun with it try different things until you find out what works for you so yeah so there we have it my easy peasy body care routine if you do try out these products let me know if you have tried out any of these products before and you like them let me know why you like them down below we have come to the end of this video loves i really hope that you enjoyed it just as much as i enjoy filming it this is a type of a different type of video i'm also currently doing a self-care challenge on my email list so you can actually click the link in my bio to subscribe and if you haven't seen my last video you can watch it right here see you in my next video bye loves